Good morning here in the US. Wow. <laughs> and then good afternoon Philippines and good ay, good evening Philippines, good afternoon Middle East. So welcome again to our you know every week um live with nine um with Elite 9.0. Um okay, let's welcome Mama D. But I'm sorry, but first I would like to say hi to my co-admins Gladys, Michelle, Manuel na nasa Pilipinas nagbabakasyon now and Marvin busy sa mga kids niya. Okay, guys, let's bring back again Mama D. Ay, Mama D. Thank you, Sir Jeff. Sige na, Sir Jeff, go. <laughs> okay, guys, so yes, welcome back. Welcome back to our discussion here at our um, weekly live here with IFNG. And of course, we're still going to be talking about the techniques that you would need to know when it comes to listening. But tonight, we're going to be adding an extra information when it comes to our discussion. No, um, Most of the time, we talk about the techniques when it comes to listening, and we're going to be focusing on that okay, tonight. But I'm going to be tweaking um, it a little bit tonight because I will be teaching you two techniques okay, that you could actually do to listen to difficult questions. okay? Because some of the students, they tend to uh what do you call this um get disorganized when they are on uh when they when they hear difficult questions on the listening as well as of course in the speaking exam okay so tonight later on after uh, at the almost at the end of our discussion tonight there will be a quick technique that i will be teaching you guys on how to answer difficult questions okay on the listening and on the speaking examination okay so i am pretty much excited for that but before that let me just share our live for tonight real quick Okay. All right. Okay. So guys, well, I'm sharing this one. Okay. How's everybody doing? Kumusta ang mga anak ko dito sa IFNG? Okay. How's your preparation so far? Come on, please type it, type it there. If you are at Zoom or on Facebook, please type your um, IELTS preparation so far. Okay. So wait, let me just um, share this one. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. All righty, so we have from Jazz Fine. Okay, there we go. All right, hello, Virgil. All right, hello, Emily. There we go. Okay, hi, God. Grabe naman, Dior. Anak, ano ka ba naman? I'm just a mere mortal. Mere mortal. Okay, what else? Okay, wait, let me just... Um, okay, let me just find my Facebook page. Hindi ko na mahanap yung Facebook page ko, guys. <laughs> Okay. All righty. <clears throat> okay. So guys, yeah. Quite nervous and excited for the exam. I will be taking it soon in one week's time. Oh, anak, in Jesus' name, believe me, you. Okay, you will pass your examination. Okay, guys. So let me just share to you my screen as regards our PowerPoint presentation tonight, okay? I would really love to use our, uh, what do you call this, our elite notes for tonight. However, guys, there will be a lot of topics that I would want to cover. So guys, no, um, we're going to be using the PowerPoint. Although, guys, not later on after this discussion, I'll be sending the, um, what do you call this, the PDF version of the PowerPoint to the admins of IFNG so that you will be able to get a copy of this one as well. No, yung mga tips and techniques na ituturo ko sa inyo for tonight. So if you, if it's your first time to join us here in our live discussion here at IFNG, for you to uh, what do you call this get the copy it's quite simple just like the page of IFNG or IELTS Filipino Nurses Group here on Facebook and then message the admins for you guys to be added on their group chats and then later on they will be sending the PDF versions as well okay all righty okay so who's ready okay if you're ready to learn for tonight please type I am ready okay maghilo nga muna tayo sa mga Nasa Zoom natin. Okay, good evening, Mama D. Hello, Mr. M! Hello! Kumusta ka naman? Diyos ko, namimiss ko na kayo. Ayun na naman si Rufa. Lumabas na naman. <clears throat> okay, so guys. Alrighty, so. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so. Welcome back to another fun discussion about the IELTS listening test. Brought to you by IELTS Filipino Nurses Group and of course, Elite Intellect 9. Okay, guys, so. Please 
take note of the techniques that I will be teaching you tonight because the, the things that I will be, uh, what you call the saying here, are also the things that I tell my students at Elite Intellect, okay? Ito tinutulong ko sa kanila for them to make the examination manageable on different aspects when it comes to listening from the part one to the part four and on the speaking examination as well, okay? So please, guys, you may tag your friends there on Facebook for those of you who are watching. Tag your friends there so that they'll be able to learn too when it comes to the techniques for tonight, okay? Christian Reynold Diza, Hello, Christian, my love. Okay, so if it's your first time to join us here, I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET and CLEX and uh, NMCCBT Specialist PH. I am an IELTS expert for 12 years now, and I'm also known as your Mama D, Mother D, Mommy D, all kinds of D, Mama Dragon, no? Half Filipino, half Undin. <laughs> Bet nyo yon. You guys know what undin is. You don't know. You do. You do. You do not know what undin is. <laughs> Sino dito ang nakakaalam kung ano ang undin? Okay, from Virgil Noriel Padilla. Thank you, Mama D. I passed the IELTS with IFNG and your videos. So thank you so much, Virgil Noriel. Hello. Okay. Ano to? Hindi po. You don't know what undin is. Shake, rattle, and roll, diba? You watch Shake, Rattle, and Roll, guys, okay? You watch Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Yung si Manilin, yung hinahabol-habol niya yung undin, yung kruting, ukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukulukuluk
30 points and above so as to ensure that you are on the 7.0 okay or on the 8.0 or even the 9.0 believe me this is the listening guys okay it is not impossible for you to get a perfect score on the listening test of the IELTS okay alrighty what else okay there you go Jazz 9.0 good job Let's talk about the differences, okay? Because I believe that some students are a little bit confused or quite confused when it comes to the difference between the paper-based test and, of course, the computer-based test, okay? Sir, ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng listening, ng paper-based, at saka ng computer-based? Eri na nga, mga anak. Ituturo ko sa inyo kung ano ang pinagkaiba, okay? O, tara din eh. Kinig din eh. Okay, so, for the paper-based test, guys, It has it has a question sheet, okay, and it also has an answer sheet. All right, you will get 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheets, and also this is to transfer the answers as well as, of course, for you to check for errors and to check the spelling of your work. Take note of the word that I have written down there: spelling. Okay, because I usually get when it, when I'm live, sir, sir Joseph. Um, is it true that uh, wrong spelling is wrong on the exam? Yes. Okay, if you have spelled something incorrectly on the test, it will be marked as incorrect. Okay, so in a majority of the test locations, there will be no earphones to use. Okay, it is a speaker that they utilize when it comes to the paper based test. But there are some locations, guys. Okay. There are some locations who provide earphones now for the candidates, no? Who are Sir Jeff Ingat, who are actually taking the examination or the examine or the paper-based test, okay? So, guys, again, for the majority of test locations worldwide, there are some, okay, that do not provide earphones when you're using the when you're taking the paper-based test. So, guys, no, um, that's another leverage of the computer-based test, okay? All right, so hello, Mama D. Hello, Victoria Ramones. Hi, Mama D. If they're going, uh, if they're getting computer based, I advise that they should answer as they go along, Tama. Because again, the difference, guys, when it comes to the paper based test is that since you have the question sheet, you can still write down things there on the question paper before you transfer to your answer sheet. On the computer based, however, it's a completely different story, okay? What's the difference, okay? Sir Joseph, when we say computer-based test, the first thing that you would need to know is you would answer directly on the screen, okay? Kapag kaikinlik mo tong side na to, magsagot ka na agad while you're listening to the recording, okay? And <clears throat> you will get two minutes only to check your answers at the end of the entire listening test for the computer-based test are two minutes? Yes, because you have already typed the things there, okay? So the two minutes time that you will be given is just for you to utilize, okay, to check for grammatical errors, for typo errors, spelling, okay? <clears throat> so the two minutes is to check for typo errors, spelling, and go over the items that you are unsure of. As I always tell my students, you may guess at this point, okay? Guys, whether you are taking the paper-based test or computer-based test, one thing's for sure is you should not leave a blank space, okay? Tandaan, huwag pong mag ng blank space sa computer-based or paper-based test soliciting, okay? The test takers are given earphones on the computer-based test, so that's always an advantage, right? Okay, for you to listen in solidarity <laughs> when it comes to the recording. Kasi ako talaga... One problem that I have had before when it comes to the listening, when I took my examination, is that I was placed near the speaker. Okay, so for some, it, it is actually an advantage, diba? because you are near the speaker itself. Although my problem with that one is that um, the sounds are already muffled when it reaches my ear. Because hello, imagine the speaker is just beside me, close kami. Diba? Kulang na lang, juwain ko yung speaker diba so it, i find it, i found it quite challenging for me to even listen because it's way too loud okay so if you are if you have sensitive hearing like me you can actually offer the computer based test okay all right <clears throat> so what else guys okay it is somewhat difficult because okay let's talk about why the listening examination is somewhat difficult for the test takers, okay? So first things first, the IELTS listening is somewhat challenging, not because you cannot understand what the recording is saying. Basically, naiintindihan nyo, mga anak, kung ano yung sinasabi ng recording, di ba? Kaya lang, sometimes, you do not understand, uh, you don't understand the essential skill that would be imperative for you to do your listening, Okay? 
wala naman dito na pag nag-listening eh, ang narinig lang eh. <laughs> diba? Wala namang ganon. Diba? Even if it has a heavy accent, okay? I think the heaviest accent that I have had encountered on the IELTS listening is, what do you call this? The one on section 4 with which it's talking about a midden because the person that was talking there is, what do you call this? A generalized Irish person, no? So if that is a generalized Irish person, as I would like to say, then of course, the problem is that their accent is a little bit deep, no? So what you would need for the following experiment is you would need to find a troll or a shovel and you need to find a midden. Meron pa section 2. Welcome everybody to the new ground breaking of the mall brought to you by the city center. Diba just ko ground breaking lang ko ano ano pa ginawa. Hello. Hello, si Ariana Bato. Ariana, ikaw ba yan? Oh my gosh! Welcome back to the Philippines, Ariana Grande. <laughs> Alam mo na, makikita tayo ha? sa bunutang kita. Okay. Alrighty, so guys, no, it is not because you cannot understand what the recording is saying. Sometimes the listening is quite difficult because you would need to listen read and write all together at the same time. Diba? And some students actually find it challenging when that happens. You're listening and then you're reading the questions and then you're writing down the answers. No, And if that happens, the students tend to panic in the midst of the situation. So guys, If that happens, please, okay, don't panic, okay? It is a skill that 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 would require for you to get used to it, okay? You don't have to be a genius, okay? For you to get a 9.0 on the exam, okay? Hindi kailangan na maging genius ka, henyo at henya, di ba, para ma-perfect mo yung exam. You just have to master the skill right here, which is for you to listen, read, and write all together at the same time, okay? It is, uh, it is, It, tests, it is a test of your concentration and your ability to manage your time, okay? So who here has experienced this before? It's okay. There's no shame, girl. There's no shame. Yeah, tell me if you have experienced this before, okay? Who among you here, okay, were able to experience this? You were listening and then suddenly your mind went somewhere, Okay, your mind went somewhere, somewhere out there, diba? And then when you returned to the recording, you felt lost. Viva, I got lost, girl. Viva, who here experienced that before? Viva, indeed, sir. There you go. Again, yeah, this is Sir Manuel. Hello, Paul. We miss you, sir. I, I just said hi before going to bed. Miss you all. We miss you too. Okay. All right. So, yeah, when that happens on the exam, mga anak, no? Mag-iingat po tayo. Do not, I repeat, do not actually, what do you call this? Do not have flight of ideas on the test, no? Kasi yung ibang estudyante, naglilisening pa lang, iniisip na kung anong o-orderin mamaya sa hotel venue, mga ganyan. Iniisip na kung anong kakainin mamaya, di ba? Or kung mag-grocery ba after, di ba? So you need, to, you need to focus in the situation, okay? It actually tests your concentration, okay? And your ability to manage your time, okay? So that what that is what makes the IELTS listening quite awesome. Onerous, okay? We must focus, diba? Like elite focus. Okay. <clears throat> so, what else? Before the task, guys, try to read all the questions given before the recording plays, okay? But as I always tell my students, huwag kayong masyadong bayani, okay? Sundin lang po kung ano yung sasabihin ng recording. You would need to follow what the recording says, okay? Or how many items do you need to read? Because, guys, you don't have time to read the other items, no? If the recording specifically said, you now have some time to look at questions 5 to 9. So y'all better be looking at 5 to 9 only, not, not until 12, not until 14, not until 15, okay? You should not be uh, reading too much, okay, of the questions. Listen, listen carefully to the instruction, di ba? <clears throat> Imagine mo ko si Rupa may yung nasa instruction ng exam. <laughs> I agree, sir. Just the numbers covered by the audio, di ba? Imagine mo kung si Rupa may yung nasa recording ng exam, di ba? Section 1. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have time, and you will have questions to answer based on what you hear. 
Ooh, there will be time for you to read the instructions. <laughs> and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. <laughs> the test is in four sections. <laughs> Maluka ka siguro. <laughs> Pabaliw ka kapag gagalit. Kung ako yung Diyos ko, hindi siguro ako baka pag-concentrate, no? Yes. So you now have some time to look at questions one to five. <laughs> Todo na to. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> what else, no? Try to read all the questions given before the recording plays. So this is to know what you will be expecting on the test, okay? The common problem of the students really is that they just listen to the recording without even considering what they would need to listen to, okay? Mero mga estudyante, okay, I will let the recording play, okay? And then I will read while the recording plays and that's not how it goes, guys, okay? Because if you're doing that, you, don't, you do not have a particular expectation on the important things that you would need to listen to on the test okay so guys please you need to know what you are expecting okay from the test itself so as to ensure that you get the answers correctly okay parang ganito yan i always use this logic when i teach my students this one kalimbawa you're going to the airport and then you do not know who you're going to be picking up on the airport diba there's like thousands of people per hour coming out of that or hundreds of people per hour coming out of the lobby of the airport without knowing who you're going to pick up oh by love you'll be there for like months diba hindi mo makikita yung sinusundo mo sa airport diba so you would need to know who the person is or what the name of the person is so set your expectations okay on the listening examination know what to wait for in the recordings okay you must concentrate, okay? After the task, you will hear this, okay? You have some time to revise your answers, okay? So if you hear that, okay, you now have some time to check your answers or you now have some time, you now have some time to revise your answers. Diba? Pag narinig mo yan, what I always tell my students is do not do that, okay? Don't revise your answers because no matter how hard we try, believe me, you will no longer hear the recording again, okay? Hindi mo na malirinig yung recording ulit, no? So what you should do here is immediately go to the next task to prepare for the questions better, okay? This is what we call the 30-30 rule, okay? Sir, what's the 30-30 rule? Could you explain further? Ito nga kasi yan. 30 seconds is for you to check your answers for the previous um, section, right? And then you will be given another 30 seconds for you to prepare for the next section. If you combine 30 plus 30 together, that's 60 seconds. You have an entire minute, okay? You have an entire minute to prepare for the upcoming recording, okay? So guys, no, instead of wasting your time trying to read yung nakaraan na, di ba? Pag lumagpas na, pag tapos na, pag nakaraan na, wag mo nang balikan. May hugot. <laughs> Diba? Tapos na nga eh. Balik ka pa ng balik. Diba? Arot. Okay? So if it's already finished, guys, no, don't read it again. Okay? You would need to combine the 30 seconds that you have, okay, to check, and then the other 30 seconds that you have to prepare for the next question. So it's a total of 60 seconds for you to do so, for you to prepare better, for you to understand the questions better. Okay? What else? Try to memorize what the question is looking for, okay? I'm not saying try to memorize the question. It's humanly impossible for us to do that, okay? Kailangan ka sapian ng masamang elemento para magawa mo yan, okay? It is virtually impossible, guys, for you to do that, to memorize what the question is looking for, the questions. What you should do is for you to memorize only what the question is looking for, okay? Ano ba ang hinahanap ng tanong na ito so that later on, when the recording is playing, I know what the expectation of the recording is, okay? All right, so, okay. This one is a very important technique. Take note of this one, guys. Okay? If you want to take a screenshot of this one, go ahead, take a screenshot now. Tawin yung pag okay na. Pag ba nag screenshot kayo, pangat-pangat ka sa mga screenshot nyo. Dapat ganito, pretty lang tayo. Te. Kaya na po? Okay. 
<clears throat> so keep an eye on two questions, okay? Two questions at a time, okay? The question you are listening to, okay? And then the next question, okay? Let's say you're listening to item number one. So you keep an eye on item number one and item number two. You keep an eye on item number three and item number four. Keep an eye on item number five and number six, seven and eight, nine and ten, so on and so forth, okay? So what's the purpose of this one, okay? When you are doing this, you're preparing yourself and your expectations for the next question, no? Kaya yung iba, ito ang dahilan kung bakit when the recording is actually fast, okay, when the recording is way too fast, some students cannot actually get the answer because they're just keeping an eye on one question at a time. Okay? When, when the recording is way too fast, sometimes, ay, I did not hear the answer for number three. Bimbi, hindi ko narinig. Diba? Because you are not paying attention on two questions at a time. Okay? Keep an eye on two questions at a time. Believe me, it will actually prepare you better for the expectations with the recordings. Okay? When you are reading the question, try to pay attention to keywords on each of the two questions, okay? Okay, try to remember keywords on each of the two questions. Remember, keywords are useless if you do not remember them. <laughs> Meron kasi mga estudyante, they're going to be encircling too much, okay? And then there would be a lot, oh, here, this is a keyword. This is a keyword. Oh, this is the keyword that I'm looking for. Kaya lang, hindi naman natandaan kung ano yung keyword. You were not able to remember what the keyword is. And if that happens, believe me, that's useless, okay? When you're doing that, okay? My children on the listening exam remember that the keywords do matter, okay? <clears throat> All right, from Jess. Sometimes happens to me to revise the answer, but the first answer is correct, but I changed the answer. Yeah, it happens too. There are a lot of students who do that. They, 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 they tend to doubt the first answer that they have written down, and then they're going to change it, and then the first answer is actually correct. Okay? So guys, please be systematic with the way that you guys are answering. Okay? In case... Uh, in case you will have flight of ideas anytime, okay? In case, actually, in case you have flight of ideas anytime, no? Uh, the reason why you're having a flight of ideas is because you're not focusing on the question and on the recording itself. So what I always tell my students to do is for you to check, okay? Follow through. So as to ensure that your, your full attention is there on the material itself, okay? I agree. Better to go next step of question to the next set of questions you can really prepare yourself what what i did in computer base i highlighted the keywords as i go along it's such a big help oh just sell just sell there you go yeah guys okay when you are focusing on two questions at a time believe me and you're remembering the keywords there's no way that that answer is going to is going to slip away diba parang yung hindi kagaya ng ex mo na bigla na lang nawala Okay lang ako. <laughs> Ganun ka daw ano? Okay lang ako. <laughs> As Filipinos, we love to say that, right? Diba? Yung iniwa ka ng jowa mo tapos umiiyak ka na, okay ka lang? Okay lang ako. Mukha ba ako hindi? Okay. I'm okay. Why are you crying? I don't, you don't know. <laughs> Yung, yung overly emotional ka. Yung hindi na lumalabas yung words sa bibig mo. Tapos ipit na ipit na. Tapos pag kinocomfort ka, okay lang talaga ako. Kaya ko to. <laughs> okay. We have a message from uh, Facebook from Louise Marga. Mama D, thank you so much. I took my IELTS last week and I passed with band 8. Yay! Congratulations, Louise Marga. And yes, nag flight of idea talaga ako, but I was able to guess. Good job. Good job, Anna. Congratulations, Louise Marga. Oh, diba? I'm so happy that we are actually helping a lot of people when it comes to their preparation, especially here at IFNG, guys. I want to say you guys are fortunate that you already have these platforms because the review institutions are working together, okay, under one platform to teach you guys different things, diba, that you can do for the examination. So that's be thankful, my children, okay? All right. 
I am encircling the keywords to remember before beginning the Richter. To un- yeah, that's actually good. You would need to encircle keywords too. And later on, I will teach you guys what are the keywords that you would need to encircle. Okay? All right. <clears throat> All righty. So what else? Keywords to memorize. Here you go. As I have mentioned, ito na nga. Okay? What are the keywords that you would need to memorize on that situation? Okay? So usually, guys, nouns and verbs are important in the question. No? So nouns, yes, the nouns, the, the nouns are the females that you see beside the priest and the verbs are the things that fly in the sky. Sometimes they poop on your car. Wale, Sir Joseph. Direct. <laughs> okay, edit out yon. <laughs> Nouns are <clears throat> specific names of people, places, things, events, anything with specificity. Okay? Anything that has been specified, okay? Or even not specified. Just as long as it's a name of a person, place, thing, object, event, that's a noun. A verb, verbs are words which denotes an action. Okay? Guys, pwede po. Yung mga anak nyo, kapag sinabing action word some verb, pakikorek po. Ang action word po kasi ang ibig sabihin nun, tumatambling-tambling yung word. nag split yung word. Nag-gymnastics yung word. Diba? That's, a, that's an action word. The verb by definition, guys, are words which denotes an action. Oh. Diba? Ang social. Pag tinanong yung anak mo, alam ba ang pangalan ng anak mo, Junjun? Junjun, what are verbs? Well, technically, Mama D has taught me that verbs are words which denotes an action. Di ba? Sabihin nung teacher, oh, eh, di ikaw na. <laughs> okay. Do not over-encircle or over-highlight the questions. Okay? Because this will confuse you. I know a lot of students who do who does this. Okay? Uh, yung... Pagka nagsusulat ka, di ba? When, you're, when you are writing down on the exam, when you're, when you're reading the questions on the exam, you tend to encircle like five words per question, di ba? Who's guilty here? You encircle and underline and encircle and underline and encircle and underline and encircle and underline five things in a sentence. Who does that? Sino dito ang guilty? Di ba? Yung mga lima, apat, di ba? Ang binibilugan kada tanong. Guys, believe me, the more you encircle... Sometimes you will find it harder to remember <laughs> the questions when that happens, okay? So I would want you to be selective with the things that you are encircling and underlining on the test. Try to limit the words so that you can remember important keywords when you hear them, okay? So let us try. Okay, let's try this one, guys, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I have UTI at the moment. My UTI is actually painful. Huh? Sorry, UTI. Upper throat infection. Duh. <laughs> because I may have swallowed things a lot in the dark last night that I was not proud of. Okay. The tour will take blank hours. Okay. What should be encircled here? The tour will take blank hours. Okay. What should be encircled here? Ano, mga anak, ang dapat nating bilugan dito? The tour will take blank hours. What word? Just one. Hours. There you go. Hours. Okay. What else? Mama di talaga, sabi Christian. <laughs> There are blank participants in the tour. Okay, what about number two? There are blank participants in the tour. What important keyword should you be encircling here? Participants, right? They're participants. Yun lang, no? For the first one, hours. Because when they mention something like, well, approximately, the, well, the tour is actually quite popular because it runs for approximately 10 hours. So, Binilugan mo yung salitang hour so alam mo na yun yung hinahanap mong tanong. Di ba? Kasi if you encircle tour, take, yung mga yan, no? Believe me when I tell you that the tour will the word tour will be mentioned like more than 10 times on the entire recording. So when it's mentioned more than 10 times, every time you hear the word tour, you will be confused. Okay? So if you have encircled the word hours on the other hand, right? Di ba? If you encircle the word hours, guys, then of course when you hear 
10 hours, you know that that's the answer, okay? The next one, there are blank participants in the tour, you should encircle participants, okay? What else? The blank are involved in the study. Okay, what about the next one? Come on, girl, you can do it. Y'all can do it, girl. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh. The blank are involved in the study. Involved. Who? Okay. I'm looking for who or what is involved in the study. Okay. Penguins are known for their blank characteristic when in the wild. Penguins are known for their blank characteristic when in the wild. Characteristic, right? Okay. Bears can blank all winter season. Bears can blank all winter season. Okay, what's the root word here? Bears can blank all winter season. Can. What can bears do? Right? Okay, now. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to be pretending to be the recordings for this one, okay? All right, number two. Number two, try to find the answer. Well, there are there are seven sponsors for the entire tour, but there will be 50 attendees overall. Well, there are seven sponsors for the tour, but there will be 50 attendees overall. What's the answer? Seven or 50? It is 50, right? There are 50 because the seven are the sponsors. Okay, what else? <clears throat> well, there are a lot of factors that could actually make or break the study. But one thing's for sure is that we have involved research with the study. What's the answer? It is research. Okay, next one. <clears throat> well, penguins are pretty much interesting. In a way, when penguins are captured, they are known for their they are known for their lovely character. However, if they are in the wild, they are known to be furious. What is the answer? Are they lovely or are they furious? They are furious right because when they are when they are captured they are lovely overall but when they are in the wild they are furious right okay now last one there are many types of abilities the bear can actually show well in summer they mate pretty well and of course they hibernate every winter season Okay, in summer, they mate, okay? And then every winter season, they hibernate, see? Isn't that a very good technique? When you guys are encircling only the things that matter, okay? In the recording, then there's no way that you're going to get lost, okay? Hindi ka maliligaw, hindi ka mawawala, hindi ka magpa-plight of ideas, right? That's one thing to do, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not overly encircle things, okay, on your exam, okay? Basically, just encircle things that would matter for the question in itself, okay? Claro bunga? May natututunan po? Are we learning so far? If you are learning, please type, uh, please type commendable. Wait lang mga, inom lang ako ng Waterloo. <laughs> inom lang ako tubig. Give me 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mama God and Elite Squad. Hello to my co-IFNG admins. Hello, Mom Gladys. Oh, <laughs> si Mom Gladys. <laughs> Pag si Mom Gladys talaga yun. Ano <laughs> si Mom Gladys? <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, thank you guys so much. Okay, Mama Ya. Can we anticipate or predict answers? Yes, Dior. Oh, I love your name, Dior. One of my favorite brands, you know. Especially the tote bag of Dior and the saddle. <laughs> okay, yeah. You can actually try to predict the answer, no? Ano to, please type my UTI si Mama D. Upper throat infection. 
<laughs> yeah, you can actually try to predict the answer. Try to predict whether it's a noun, a verb, an adjective, or an adverb that would be fitting. Okay? Alrighty. So, what else? Ano to may PM ako? Mama, di ilan ang di your bag mo. Huwag mo nang tanongin. Basta, ano lang yun. Nabili ko lang sa Green Hill. Shh. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Check to follow and cross out. Okay? Ito. Ano to? With nginig. Oo, with nginig, Ma'am Gladys. Hush, <laughs> Ma'am Gladys. <laughs> okay. Check to follow and cross out. Okay, sir? What do you mean by check to follow? If you have watched my video here at IFNG last week, what I did is that when we were doing the listening, I was checking the things that were already mentioned by the recording. You can do that. Okay? When labia major, oh labia minora, Mom Gladys. <laughs> okay, wait. You can actually check. Okay, you can check the things that were already mentioned in the recording. Alibas si labi niya. Ah, uh, thirty-six participants. Check. Okay. Ah, uh, the grand hall. Check. Yung mga yan, no? So that you're following through. Okay. Put a check mark on things mentioned, and if they change the answer, cross out the incorrect one and write the new one. Okay, because guys, you 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 know that on the IELTS listening, the number one trick that they do to confuse the students is for them to change the answer in the middle of the delivery, right? Would you agree with me, Viva? Oh, it's actually quite it's 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 important for us to do that. We would need to go to Bancroft Hall. Oh no, that's not Bancroft. It's actually Green Hall. So they're going to change that. So if you have written down Bancroft Hall and then they change it, cross it out, write down the correct one. Yes, sir. I'm taking the computer-based test. What can I do? Highlight it, backspace, write down the correct, type down the correct one. Okay, sir. What if I'm taking the computer-based test or computer-based test? You may use your mouse as a pointer. Okay, follow through. This is the thing, guys. This is the advantage of the paper-based. For me, okay, as a person, is that um I I have the freedom to do whatever I want with my paper. I can put some markings on it, okay. I could put some check marks on it. Whereas on the computer delivered test, I am limited to just following through the entire thing, utilizing my mouse, okay. Gora boom na po akish ano to nakisilip lang kayanin para sa pangarap. Good luck and God bless everyone. Ingat, Mom Gladys. Okay, alrighty. So what else, guys? Okay. Pay loads of attention when it comes to the keywords. Okay, again, as I always tell you, this is a synonym hunting activity. Okay, my perfume kabang di your mama di wala. Um, ang signature na amoy ko lagi mga anak is uh, what do you call this? Jo Malone. I love Jo Malone, especially wood sage and sea salt. Tasi na haluan ko siya ng ano ng tuberose angelica. Yan. Kung gusto nyo maamoy ang ina nyo, imagine nyo, di ba? Yung wood sage and sea salt ng Jo Malone, tapos mayroong konting hint ng tuberose angelica. Ah, oh, sir, mabango ka pala, no? Mukha kang mabaho. <laughs> Inokra yung sarili. Okay. So, pay loads of attention when it comes to the keywords. Okay? What else? Okay. It is handy to know. Okay? It is handy to know if you are expected to write words or letters, okay? <clears throat> There are questions that would require words, okay? For some questions, letters, okay? Sometimes the students have a common accident with this one, di ba? Ang ina-expect ng tanong ay letter. Ang isusulat mo, tapos ikaw nilagay mo yung word. Let's say, letter A, rose. Letter B, tulip. Letter C, um, fragipani. Fragipiani, di ba? Halimbawa, ganun. Tapos, instead of writing down letter C, what you have written down is Fragipiani. So, of course, that would be incorrect. Okay? That would be marked incorrect. Okay? So, you would need to know if the listening is expecting for you to write down words or letters. Okay? Follow the instructions well. Because if you have written down words instead of letters, that would be marked incorrect. Also, guys, I want you to be stringent with the word limit. Okay? Okay? Look immediately at the word limit of the question. Okay, halimbawa three words yan. So it means the U, uh, university library collection. Three words: university library collection. Two words: library collection. One word: collection. Three words and or a number: twenty ah uh, two hundred five university library collection. Okay, two words and or a number: two hundred five university collection. Okay, and then. 
uh, uh, library collection. And then one word and or a number, 205 collection. Okay? Be stringent. Okay? You would need to be pretty strict. Okay? When it comes to your word limit, guys. Because if you're not following the word limits, believe me, your effort will be useless. Okay? Kasi kapag ka lumagpas put tayo sa word limit on the examination, it will be marked as something that is incorrect. And you wouldn't want that, girl. Right? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Filling out tasks. Okay? Try to predict the answers. Okay? What words would be fitting for the question? Okay? Is it a name? Is it a number? Is it a word that it's looking for? Okay, it's also useful for you to try to first see if what would be fitting for the question would be a noun, verb, adjectives, adverbs. Uh, they are always used on the exam. Okay, let's say the blank, uh, the students would require blank. The students would require blank. Okay, what do you think is expected there? The students would require blank. What do you think is expected there? Is it a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb? The students would require dancing. The students would require beautiful. The students would require hard work. What is it? Effort? Okay, it could be a noun, right? It could be a noun. Like, let's say it says there, the students would require effort. Effort is an abstract noun. <laughs> oh, sir, I thought yung effort verb. It's not effort thing, eh. Diba? An effort, effort is an abstract noun. It's like love, patience, courage. Yan, abstract noun po yan. Okay? Pay attention to them. It makes it easier to recognize the answers when you hear them. Okay? Pay attention to nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Believe me, it would be easier for you to grasp the answers once it is mentioned. Okay? What else? Pay attention to singular or plural nouns, okay? Okay, and also pay attention to the tenses, okay? When we say singular or plural nouns, guys, on the exam, if the answer is singular, y'all better be writing down singular, girl. If the answer is plural, you better be writing down plural, okay? When you write down those answers in the sentence, they should be grammatically correct along with the surrounding sentence. Otherwise, your answers will be incorrect. Okay, let's take a look at this one. The blank are involved in the study, okay? Student or students? The blank are involved in the study. It's as simple as this. Student or students? Okay, there you go. Students, because the word are, right? The word are signifies the students. Okay, the professor blanked the portfolio. Okay, <clears throat> well, you know what, Joanne, last Friday, it was actually quite weird because the professor is about to hand the portfolio. A one word lang yun limit. Well, you know what, Joanne, it is, it is actually quite weird because last Friday, the professor is about to hand out the, the portfolio. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be grammatically fitting for this one? The professor, one word lang, one word lang. The professor handed the portfolio right there you go congratulations you just lost the point okay handed because it's in the past right it was in the past it was last friday but it was last friday so the answer for this one is handed past tense Diba? Parang yung ex mo lang yan. Pagtapos na, past tense na. Diba? Hindi pwedeng magpa-present progressive pa yung ex. Diba? Torturing. <laughs> Kailangan tortured na. Hindi ba pwedeng torturing. Diba? Or will torture. Diba? Kailangan past tense na. Hindi na pwedeng mag-present progressive. Claro bunga guys. Okay, moving on. Oh, 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 by the way, before we move on to how, the how to answer difficult questions, we have a blessed news for all of you. 
Actually, guys, my students know this and I have recently started a campaign, okay, about this one. And it is the main reason why we are going to be uh, giving you this good news here at Elite Intellect 9, okay? So, guys, okay, we introduced to you the summer review sale of Elite Intellect 9, okay? So, Sir Joseph, what is the summer review sale for Elite Intellect, okay? So, basically, guys, for the summer review promo for the IELTS review, pay only 3999 instead of paying 7500 pesos for unlimited review. For the OET review, 4999 instead of paying 8000 pesos, okay? For the NCLEX or CBT, pay only 7500 not 25000 Plus, if you're going to enroll for the NCLEX program, we are going to give in free IELTS review for that, okay? And if you're going to be reviewing for the CBT, which is the, the, the counterpart of NCLEX for the United Kingdom, there will be a free OET review for that, okay? So guys, all of our promos are unlimited review, free handouts and preparation books, unlimited computer-delivered mock tests, flexible and convenient schedules, live online discussion plus recorded live classes, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring, and uh, a free one-on-one -on -one final coaching with Mama D. Before you take your exam, I will be sitting you down on a one-on-one -on -one session. I don't care how many hours you would take as long as you are prepared for your exam, okay? So again, guys, this is like more than 50% discount for your IELTS preparation, OET preparation, or NCLEX and CBT preparation, okay? So, sir, I want to avail of your summer promo, okay? So, guys... <clears throat> Sir Jello has sent you guys and Mom Genji has sent you guys the link of Elite Intellect 9 right there, okay, on our chat box here at Zoom and also on the comment section of our live discussion on Facebook, okay? Just click the link, okay, and then you will be directed to the page of Elite Intellect 9, okay? But you may also search Elite Intellect 9.0 on Facebook or message us on our WhatsApp. That's 0916-697-2994. So the, 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 the keyword, guys, that you would need to type in there is IFNG, uh, no, IELTS, um, IELTS Summer Sale. Yun lang. Isend nyo sa page namin, IELTS Summer, summer Sale. Alam na agad ni Mang Tanya yung rates na ibibigay sa inyo. So this is a way for us to say thank you to the students who have been watching and supporting us here on our live at IFNG and also to give back to the people who have become vital bridges of our, uh, what do you call this, of our platform, okay, at Elite Intellect 9, okay? So for those of you guys, again, that's IELTS Summer Promo. Send a message on our Facebook page right now. This is limited to 50 students only, okay? 50 students. Ang 50 students, isang kurap ng matalang puyan, okay? So do you send a message right now? Sir, what if, ano, wala pa akong ano eh, pwede ka magpa-reserve ng slot kay Ma'am Tanya. Sabihin mo lang, Ma'am Tanya, save me a slot, please, okay? And she will save you a slot for your IELTS Summer Promo. Sir, hindi ko pa magagamit yung entries ko kasi mag IELTS muna ako. Sige, mag-enroll ka. Mag-IELTS review ka muna. Tapos pag nakapasa ka na, tsaka ka mag-NCLEX. Diba? Eh, sir, di ko pa magagamit yung IELTS ko. Mag-NCLEX muna ako. Mag-enroll ka ng NCLEX. Pag napasa mo yung NCLEX, tsaka ka mag-IELTS. Kasi nga kasama na sa promo. It's unlimited with lifetime validity. Okay? So, for those of you who will be availing our summer sale promo, I'll see you guys in class very, very soon. Okay? Let's continue. <clears throat> right. Okay. Look at this one. When you are writing down your answers, okay, for example, surnames, okay, or name of streets, okay, they will usually pronounce the word first and then they will spell them, right? I know that you have already encountered this on the exam, <clears throat> okay? Um, sometimes they will they will say the name first, okay, or, or, or the last name first, and then they will, they, they will spell them, okay? Expect that the spellings could get a little bit weird, okay? All right, so look at this one. <clears throat> oh, it's on Brown Street. Oh, yeah, like the color. Yes, but with the E in the end. So anong spelling ng brown na sinasabi niya dito, guys? It's on Brown Street. Oh, like the color, yes, but with the E in the end. Okay, so what's the spelling? What's the proper spelling of brown here? Okay, that's B-R-O-W-N-E, brownie. Okay, it's the proper spelling. Okay, good. All right, next one. My last name is Green, Mike Green, like the color, but with an extra E in the end. So what's, his, what's, his, what's the spelling of his last name? Come on, guys. What's the spelling of his last name? Sabay, sabay. It's, it's green. G-R-E-E-N-E. -E -E. Green. Okay, good job, right? 
expect guys that sometimes when they spell things on the IELTS, it's on the it's on the weirdest spellings. Believe me, I have encountered one. Um, she said, <clears throat> "Well, my last name is Kinchley. That's K I N C H L E Y." So, yeah. My last name is Kinchley. That's K I N C H L E Y. Go <laughs> naman. K I N C H. Ano kaya yung H? H is an H, okay? All right. So, what else? This is applicable for both listening and speaking, okay? Ito na. As promised earlier, okay? When you are listening to difficult questions on the exam, guys, okay? Both listening and speak of, well, for both listening and speaking, each question has two parts, okay? Ang bawat tanong po ay merong two parts. First is you have the main idea, and then the second one is the surrounding sentence, okay? Please make sure to always listen and understand the main idea and lightly brush through the surrounding sentences, okay? Ah, kaya pala sir, hindi ko naiintindihan yung tanong sa akin kung minsan because I'm listening to the surrounding sentence, not the main idea. Yep. The culprit on as to why the students cannot understand the question sometimes is that they are listening to the surrounding sentence and not the main idea of the question, okay? All right, I'll show you this example. Okay, so what is the main idea? Okay, basically, it gives you the full sense of the question and it is important for you to recognize them. Now, if you are a student whom you think, oh, it's quite difficult to understand the main idea, always ask yourself, what is the question looking for? Is this thing uncommon? Yan, ang number one na para tandaan. What is the main thing that this one is looking for? Is this thing uncommon? Okay, what else? The surrounding sentence, they just, it gives you an understanding of the structure of the question itself, okay? So, sir, let's take a look at these examples, guys, okay? <clears throat> so, for speaking, halimbawa, what activities should be encouraged to develop the skills of the children? What activities should be encouraged to develop the skills of the children? What do you think is the main idea here? What activities should be encouraged to develop the skills of the children? What is the main idea here? Come on. <clears throat> when I grow up, I want to be famous. I want to be a star. I want to be in movies. Chilling. It is activities, right? Activities. Okay. So when I answer this, Sir Joseph, when I answer this, should it be singular or plural? Isang activity lang ba ang sasabihin ko o dalawang activity po? Should I be answering just one activity or two activities? It's plural, right? It's plural. Two activities should be answered here. Kasi the question is, what are the activities that should be encouraged to develop the skills of children? So first things first is we encourage them to read. Apart from that, we also tell them to draw because it targets their imagination and their understanding, which could make them verse with their particular set of skills. Okay? Tignan nyo. Kung naiintindihan mo yung main idea here, believe me, when you understand the main idea, guys, it's actually going to be effortless for you. Okay? Next one. Listening. Who employed the staff of the park? Who employed the staff of the park? Oh, sabihin ko na sa inyo, hindi who, ha? Hindi who ang ating main idea dyan. What is the main idea? Boom, tara, tara. Boom, tara, tara. Tara, tara. Tari. <laughs> ano kaya, no? Sa exam mo, naririnig mo akong gumagalot sa background. Boom, tara, tara. Boom, tara, tara. <clears throat> employed, right? The answer for this one is employed. Ano yan, sir? Boom, tara, tara. R&B version, bakit? Hindi ba? <clears throat> Boom, tara, tara. <laughs> tara, tara. <laughs> 
<laughs> Siyempre, kapag ka ate Moira, medyo lasing, di ba? Burn, teray, teray. Puro hininga. <laughs> Moira, if you're watching, I love you, girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else? <clears throat> All right, next one. Speaking, do you think it is still important to read books nowadays? Do you think it is still important to read books nowadays? Do you think it is still important to read books nowadays? What's the key word here? What's the main idea? Is it important or is it not? Is it important? Okay, so may tanong ako, guys. Is, pagka sinagot nyo ba to, ang sagot ba ay yes or no or agree or disagree? What's the answer here? Yes or no or agree or disagree? It is yes or no, bagaysh, or agree or disagree. It's yes or no, right? It could be Absolutely or definitely not, right? Yes or no. Okay, good. Now we're understanding the concept of main ideas. Okay, next one. Who should be responsible for the outcome of the study? Who should be responsible for the outcome of the study? Hello, guys on Facebook. Guys, by the way, Elite Intellect is live here at IFNG every Friday, 9 p.m. PHD, okay? All right. What is it? responsible. Who's responsible for this one? Look at that, right? When you guys really understood the main concepts of the question, believe me, you will not get lost. Diba? Hindi ka maliligaw sa tanong. Okay? So yeah, I hope that made your preparation a little bit easier on the listening and on the speaking side of the exam. Okay? Guys, would you agree or disagree with me if I tell you that I feel like discussing about essential grammatical techniques for the IELTS for next week? Agree or disagree? Bet or no bet? Kasi maraming estudyante ang naliligaw sa grammar. <laughs> Medyo maraming naliligaw ng very light, di ba? Pagdating sa grammar. So mag-grammar kaya tayo ng very light, di ba? Okay. Bet na bet, di ba? O di Bethlehem, pag ganyan, gora mga anak. Okay, so guys, the most important technique for tonight that I could actually impart to you guys is that My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Gosh, this is a very strong verse. Very strong verse, guys. Okay? We humans, our heart and our flesh could fail all the time. Diba? Our desires could make us fail. But you have to remember, God is the strength of your heart. Okay? And He is the portion forever. And if God is the strength of your heart, you need not to be afraid of anything, even this exam. Okay, you have to have the brevity of the Holy Spirit. You have to have the brevity of the Lord when you're about to take your examination. Because one thing's for sure, He is the strength of your heart and He is your portion forever. This is from the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 26. Okay, so guys, let's pray for each and everyone who attended. Heavenly Father, would like to thank you, Lord, uh, Lord God, for another opportunity for us to were us to spread your word to the listeners of IFNG and viewers, Father. And also, thank you for the opportunity to help them prepare better for their IELTS examination. My Father, bless the admins of IFNG. No... You know that they are helping a lot of students, Lord God, when it comes to their preparation. And Lord, I pray for this person, this student right now who is listening to this discussion. Father, listen to the will of their hearts because you know that they do, they do not just need this examination because they want to take it. They need this examination because they would want to have a better future, Lord God, a better future with you. Lord, let these people become testimonies to the greatness of your power in their lives, my Lord. And Lord, thank you for the students that you're going to be guiding to towards the way of it like in jesus name amen okay guys right so okay next week okay i will be formulating a discussion that would make uh what do you call this things easier mama it would really matter if the answer for example is 30 but the answer is 30 yet because it marked wrong when i did the mock exam um kapag ka 30 ang isinagot computer-based Mac ba yan, anak? Kasi kung sa computer-based Mac talaga, you need to follow it exactly as it is. Okay? Alright, guys. 
<clears throat> All right, you're welcome, everyone. I love you, my children. Okay, so guys, again, we have the summer promo of Elite Intellect 9. Okay, this is for a cause. Okay, this is for a cause. I just don't want to announce the cause here on uh, on live, but my students and the admins of IFNG know why I'm giving the summer promo of Elite Intellect 9. The cause is pretty much dear to my heart that I get emotional when I think of it. Okay, so if you would want to become a part of the Elite Intellect family, just message our Facebook page right now. Get more than 50% or almost 50% discount for your review promos. All are unlimited review, okay? You may check out the, the what do you call this, the link here on the uh, on the chat box of Zoom and of course on the comment section of our Facebook Live, okay? Sir Kael, Jello Gael, and Mom Genji Jimenez has sent you the link. Just click that, okay? And message Mom Tanya, okay? And tell her it's um summer or uh, summer promo sale. Ganun lang. Summer sale na lang. Sige, basta summer. Okay, alam na rin Mom Tanya ang gagawin. Okay, guys? So, that is the end of your discussion for today. I will see you again next week here live at IFNG at 9 p.m. PHT, okay? So guys, in behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect 9 and of course, in behalf of the people of IFNG guys who are behind us, who are always working for your success on the IELTS, guys, this is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you guys next week at 9 p.m. PHT. Bye, everyone. We are all blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Bye, my children. See you guys.